Corel Draw Tips and Tricks with Steve Spence. Today's session, Changing the Default Font and Size in Corel. Brought to you by Condé Systems. There are times when it would be really helpful if we could change the default font or font size. If we're working on a big project and constantly have to go back up, select the font that we've typed in and change it to whatever we really need and change the size, it can take a lot of steps. And those are unnecessary. It is possible to change the default as you see it on this page. Now here's the disclaimer. When you open a new page, it will always go back to the Arial font. But while you're working on the page, you can use a changed default font or size. For instance, if you're working with something that's very, very small, we'll come down here and we'll make a, a keychain. And you can't use 24 point text on a keychain. So we want to change it and we want to have a default font that is Roman and we want a font size of 10 points. So first things first, we select the text tool. That gives us a drop-down menu and we're going to click on that. And we want to use Times Roman. And when we do, we get this box. It will usually come up with paragraph text checked and artistic text unchecked. What we're using today is artistic text, so we'll check that and click OK. Now, every time we start to use the text tool, it will automatically come up times Roman. Same thing is true here. We want to take this to 10 points. And again, we get the pop-up menu. Click OK. And now, every time we click on something to type, it will always come up 10 points with Times Roman. Let's do it again just to prove my point. It will always come up on this particular drawing surface as times Roman 10 point. If we're going to do something with paragraph text, it works the same way. This is important. Do not draw a paragraph box before you do this. Go to Font. Select what you want. We'll select Broadway, which is bizarre, but we'll do it anyway. Paragraph text. Click OK. And if you want to change the size, you can do that too. We'll take it to 9 point and we'll say OK. Now, when we create our paragraph box and we type in it, this is the type of font that we selected. Broadway, nine point. If we create another paragraph box, guess what? It's still Broadway. It will be Broadway for every paragraph box we create on this particular page. If we open a new page, it goes back to the Arial 12 point. So that's how you change the default font and size on the page you're working with. Hope you found this helpful.